you just never know what you're about ready to dig up, man. Pull tabs and bottle caps are just everywhere. They're ubiquitous. I had a video the other day, um, somebody commented on that video about the bottle caps, rejecting the bottle caps with um, a reject rejection or just notching them. And they said, um, you can you can reject or you can uh, just notch that number out and you'll be able to find coins underneath them. Uh, notch the pull tabs out too. Just notch the pull tabs out and you'll be able to find coins underneath them. Well, it's not like that, All right? Um, if you if you try to notch these out here, your detector is going to run un, really unstable and you're going to get clipped tones. And it's going to be hard to pinpoint targets that are on uh, that are close to that notched segment so i have the deus 2 the xterra pro the equinox 800 and the legend here and i'm just gonna just throw a couple out over here All right i'll just i'll just try it the xterra pro first let's try one at a time here That one reads at 31. That one reads at 49, 31, 41, 39, 46. This is the reality of it, right? 35, 36. That one's pretty solid. 49, 50. 29, 30. 31, 30. This is just random, just random from a pile. All right. 52. All right. 49, 50. 33. 31, 30. You getting my drift here? you would end up having to notch a lot, a lot of range there to actually truly notch the t notch pull tabs out. And bottle caps are just a different story. I already showed you about the bottle caps there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to notch, I'm gonna notch this, notch this one out right here. That one's gonna show you a shiny one here, All right, shiny one. Take it out of there. Nothing. Reading at 30 here. I just notched it out. I just pushed, pushed the X button right there. And notched. Now watch. I'll put a silver dime right there. It's hitting it a little bit. It's hitting it a little bit. I'll drop that pull tab at the same level. 13. Let me spread it here. 17, 20. 59, 17, 16. It's just, just not gonna happen, man. You never know what you're about ready to dig, dig up. Look at the numbers on that dime there. 82. Look at the numbers now. 24, 17. And that pull tab is notched out, right? See? Just no way it's gonna happen, man. <laughs> right. I'll even put a silver quarter. This is silver dime. I'll put a silver quarter here. 91 here. 20. It is hitting it, but I don't know what I'm about ready to dig out, right? It's reading 20s. Right? This pull tab is notched out, remember? See? It's hitting it a little tiny bit there, but. So this detector has notches of four. This pull tab is about an inch above 
this half dollar, the Kennedy half dollar right here. What's the numbers? 92, 93, 13, 10, like this. Well, let's read in fifties. Try the Deus 2 here. Do the same test with the Deus 2. Okay. Try the dime down there with this pull tab. I'll just discriminate up high here, right? So we're at 64 here. I'm at zero right now. I'm in the hot program. That's discriminated out now. Now I'll, I'll drop my iron volume down here. Pretty much the same as notching here. Zero iron volume here. I'm not, I've discriminated that out. This and the dime. Nothing. It's gone. And I'm not discriminated up very high above that. Um, that uh, I'm discriminated 68. This pull tab. You're reading at 60. 63. 66. I'll discriminate 66 here. Put that in there. Nothing. Right. Watch, I'll discriminate to 67 here. It's gone. Just no way, man. I'll even try a big coin here. Half dollar. Right next to it. Nothing. Discriminate it out. Now watch. I'll, I'll put these at the same level here. The same level. See? That pull tab is discriminated to 67. And it's reading at 66. Right? Gives me an ID of 66. Right? Look at that. I'll take that out of there. See that? It's a big coin right there, man. It's a big coin. I'll put a silver quarter in there. Put a silver quarter in here. Pull tab. It's gone. Right. The pull tab's notched out. Try the legend next. Yeah. I'll try the easy one first here. Easy way first. And it matters what frequency you're in too. Um, yes, four kilohertz might be able to get through this a little bit better, but it's not going to give you a clean number. It's not going to give you a a dime number, right? And also, when you're in the lower frequencies, these bottle caps are going to be hitting hardcore high tone. There's no way to get around that, right? So it amplifies those bottle caps when you're in the lower frequencies. And the lower frequencies don't get gold very good. Right? 28. Go to uh, multi two here. I'll go to 15 kilohertz. 15 kilohertz. So I'll notch this out here. 
Oh, I'll just, I'll just. Come on, right there. I notched it out right there. 27, 28, 26, 27, 28. Right there. It's notched out. It's notched in. This is notched. Right here. Dime. Doing pretty damn good right there. The dime. Read out 45. I'm getting a little hit on it, but I'll elevate this pull tab here. It's over with. I really like single frequencies because you can re really can separate a lot better. Um, the, the, the frequency has a lot to do with it. So I'll go with, I'll notch the program here. Notch the program right here. Still not giving me a very good tone on it. 40 kilohertz. Now it just accepted that pull tab because I changed frequencies up in the higher frequencies, right? Now I'll go to 4 kilohertz. Getting just jumping all over the board there. Right? You never know what you're about ready to dig up, man. So I'll try a quarter here. Listen to quarter. Going to multi two here. 53, solid 53. Pull tab, pretty much just non-existent. Sounds like a false. Same level here. I'm I'm uh, about an inch above the surface there. Pretty good there. That is pretty dang good. It's actually up averaging it. That's pretty good. But it clips out here. Right. Three, multi three. No. Take that pull tab out of there. Listen to it. High, high, high tone. All right. You know, I I want to be digging out these pull tabs because they fall within the range of jewelry. I'll try the Equinox here. Of gold jewelry. Gold jewelry, man. Right? We all want jewelry. And in the the the, the hot spots, there's going to be a lot of these pull tabs masking targets. A lot of pull tabs masking targets and coins. I don't know about... Um, Silver coins or not, but this is just a demonstration here. Fourteen, we got fourteen. So I've notched it out thirteen and fourteen. Thirteen and fourteen. Twenty-seven. We get twenty-seven there, and fifteen kilohertz. Go to a um, multi-frequency here. I'm in uh, field two here. Try the silver quarter. It's gone. Thirty-two. Three net thirty-two. So, I'll pick up some of these pull tabs here. I'll, I'll open it up here. Open it all metal. Look at the numbers. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13, 12, 13, 11, 12, 13, 
Here's the $3,000 gold ring here. 81 diamonds, has a half carat diamond right in the center. 13, right. This is why I do not notch right here. One of these rings, right? Think how many pull tabs you dig up. Yeah. These rings are not everywhere, but all it takes is one like that. And when you start notching like that right there, when you start notching, makes your detector run really unstable and it's harder to pinpoint targets that are close to that notched segment. If you have a target in the ground there that is notched and you have a, a, another target that's next to it that's not notched, it's going to be really hard to pinpoint that target that is not notched, that is accepted. These are all great machines, but there's a limit to them. And once you start notching, your detector will really run unstable and it'll be very difficult to find masked targets. Thank you for watching.